In the first reading today from Isaiah, we are asked to bring comfort to all the people of the world. Comfort, comfort, O oh my people. And I'd like to just take that phrase and kind of reflect a little bit upon it and maybe look at the uh, who, what, when, where, why, and how of that. So first of all, the what. The what is very easy. It's comfort. We're asked to bring comfort uh, to the people of Israel. And I think that's a beautiful word for what it is that we are asked to bring to the world as well. Obviously, that's why it's in sacred scripture. Everything in sacred scripture is beautiful. So we're asked to bring comfort to all the world. And I think that when we can think of it in that way, that when we think of what I'm asked to be bringing to other people is comfort, the comfort of the good news, that can help me a lot and strengthen me and, and help me recognize what it is that I'm being asked to do and bring to other people. And the who is also pretty straightforward. It's all the people of the world. And that can be a challenge sometimes because I think we, we sometimes think that, well, I might be called to be a witness or bring the good news of the gospel to bring comfort to my inner circle, my friends, my family, the people that I like. But God asks us to bring comfort to all of his people, the whole world. And that is a bit more of a challenge. Someone asked me on the way out of Mass last night, does that mean I have to bring comfort to the people that I don't like? It's like, yes, it does. And that's the challenge, right? That's, that's, what we're, that's why God is giving us this request and asking of us to do this, because he knows that it's not our first instinct sometimes. Our first instinct is to close ourselves off to people that we don't like, or to close ourselves off to people that we don't know. And to think, well, I might be asked to be, bring comfort and bring the good news to the people that are close to me, but probably not those people that it's hard to do that for. But the, the challenge is to bring comfort to all of God's people. So that's the what and the who. And the when is now. Right? So often we think, well, yeah, maybe I'll give that a shot tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, whatever it may be. And to think if we were judged on our intentions and our thoughts about what we will always be doing in our life tomorrow or what we will always be doing in our Christian life next week or next month, we would all be canonized saints because we all have great intentions, great plans to start bringing the comfort and the good news of the gospel to people, to care for them, to help the poor, all those things. We all plan on doing that later. But God says, comfort my people now. Bring the comfort and the good news of the gospel to everyone today. So that's the when. The why, I think, is also a good question. Why are we going to bring comfort to God's people? And the first answer to that is that because God asks us to. He does. God, God says that. In, in the reading today, in the instruction. And of course, it wasn't just something that was being delivered in the prophet Isaiah's time. When we hear the scriptures proclaimed at Mass, it's being said to us in this moment too. And so God asks us to bring comfort to all people, even the ones that we don't like, even the people that are outside our inner circle. But that why is also, we have to make sure that we are not just doing it because God asks us to. We always have to remind ourselves why God asks us to do anything. And that then, the second answer then to that question why is, well, God asks us to, but the reason God asks us to is for our own sake. There is a reason God is saying, if you bring comfort to my people, it will change you for the better. And that's always the thing that we have to keep reminding ourselves. You know, the reason we're there, the reason that we're doing and bringing comfort to people, we're spreading the good news, we're evangelizing all the people of the world, is for my own sake. I am changed for the better when I go about trying to bring comfort and good news to all people. And so we're not just doing it as a favor to God. God asked us to do it because it's for our own sake. And I think then 
The final question is the how. How do we bring comfort to all of God's people? And I think one of the ways that we do that, we get a little bit of an indication about that, or we hear mentioned, I think, one of the great ways, one of the great things that will help us in the how. We hear about the baptism of Jesus in the gospel today, and that's what we're celebrating. And at that baptism, the Holy Spirit descends upon Christ in the form of a dove. And the the Holy Spirit was always with Christ, but it was a visible sign to those who were there and to all of us today that what happens in our baptism, Christ did not need to be baptized, but we do. And what happens in our baptism is we receive the Holy Spirit too. And what, we, what happens, we talk about as Catholics, there are gifts of the Holy Spirit. And those are mentioned throughout Scripture, several different places. And one of those gifts of the Holy Spirit is joy. And Pope Francis talked about that, and one of the very first things that he wrote as Pope, he talked about the joy that's necessary to bring the gospel, to bring comfort, to bring good news to all people. And one of those main things is joy. And I think that we have to, though, recognize that when we receive the Holy Spirit, we have the opportunity to unwrap the gifts or leave them wrapped under the tree and say, I don't really want that particular gift or I don't even know that those gifts are real or I don't want to use them, whatever our our reason. I always think of that when I think of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I think of my dad who always, and even this year, it's 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 a tradition of his, I guess, I don't know. But he gets a lot of gifts, you know, from different people at at work and he brings them home and he sits them under the tree and he doesn't unwrap them. And I remember like when I was like five or six, you know, and like all you're thinking about all year is Christmas gifts and you just want to tear into them at the Christmas morning and to watch my dad not open the gifts. We were, it would just drive us mad. We're like, dad, you have gifts under the tree and you're not opening them. And of course, now we realize, you know, like, It's just chocolate and that kind of thing. But as a youngster, it was like, oh my gosh, dad has gifts that he's not opening. (laughs) And we didn't understand that, right? And I think, too, in the same way we so often, we have these gifts that have been given to us by God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gifts that come to us through our baptism, but we don't open them sometimes. And we just let them sit. And I think joy is one of those big things. And I was thinking, you know, if 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 we get everything else right, I know I'm supposed to bring comfort to all the people of God, right now, you know, wherever I'm at, and all these other things. But if we don't have the gifts of the Holy Spirit to help us do it in the right way, if we don't bring it with joy, if we don't bring it with love, we don't bring it with patience and all these other gifts of the Spirit, then I think it just, it doesn't work. Right? We have to get all those answers. We have to get all of them correct. Everything has to line up for the key to turn in the lock. Right? If we're going to unlock the hearts of other people and bring comfort to them, and I think about joy, you know, if you, if you came in and you were like, you know, I was thinking of, of like a nurse, you know, coming into a hospital room and she's like, hi, I'm here to help you. It's my job. You wouldn't be like, ah, tell me more. Uh, you'd probably want another nurse, right? And so how are we bringing comfort to other people? Do we have, is joy a part of our life? Is patience a part of our life? Are all those gifts of the Holy Spirit, are we unwrapping them? We've been baptized, we've had the Holy Spirit poured out upon us, but are we allowing it to work through us? Are we allowing the Holy Spirit to work through our lives, or are we leaving the gifts of the Holy Spirit wrapped under the tree? And so today we pray for the strength to bring comfort to God's people, knowing that it will change us. We pray for the strength to do it now, to bring it to all of the people of God, and not just our inner circle, not just the people that we happen to get along with. We pray that we may do it with joy and with love and patience, allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us, trusting that even though we might not understand exactly how the story will end, exactly how it is that we're going to bring comfort to people that we don't even know, maybe that we don't even like, we pray and trust that God is asking us to do something that is possible and that is for our own good.